Hello, good evening. Three people have been injured after a hole appeared in the stands at Durham's Riverside Cricket Ground during last night's T20 match between England and the West Indies. Pictures on social media showed part of the floor had collapsed. The club say the stand passed a safety inspection last week. Damien O'Neill reports. These pictures submitted by a spectator show the size of the area that was evacuated after the hole appeared at the stand, the T20 match at the Riverside in Chesterley Street. The first I was aware of anything uh, going wrong was when uh, the sort of, there was quite a large steward presence and police presence around the, the area in question. Um, we were sat just one block along from, from where this hole had appeared. Um, and so at first I thought there was kind of a bit of crowd disturbance, something like that. Um, but I, it was quite clear that they were sort of quickly moving people out of their seats in that block and, and reallocating them to, to other parts of the ground. They'd evacuated the block and I was, um, I was sat on the edge of the very next block. So you, you, you do worry a little bit and you, yeah, you tested, it, tested things underfoot, but it felt firm. I've, I've been you know, in that stand on a number of occasions for uh, international matches at Durham and, and, and have never experienced any problems before. The hole appears to be big enough for someone to fall through, but it's not clear whether or not that's what happened to any of the casualties, although it's thought one woman has a broken leg. Damien O'Neill, BBC Look North at the Riverside Stadium in Chesterley Street. Left stranded and out of pocket, the experience of one couple from Newcastle who are among thousands affected by Ryanair flight cancellations. The budget airline is cancelling up to 50 flights a day for the next six weeks after the company says it messed up the planning of its pilots' holidays. Megan Patterson reports. Long-awaited holidays and last-minute breaks. Thousands ruined by unexpected cancellations. At the moment it's cost us about 500 quid, I think. That's getting flights from Ratzlav to Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf to Manchester, train from Manchester to Newcastle and then hopefully pick up the car um, from there and obviously get back to work because we've lost a day's pay as well. The couple should have flown back to Newcastle from Poland today, but due to a backlog in leave for Ryanair pilots and crew, their flight is among those cancelled. The budget airline has apologised for the disruption caused and says it will refund fares and offer compensation, but so far, Carrie Ann is unimpressed. Ryanair have been no help. We have managed to get through to somebody and then we got through to a manager because they didn't know what they were doing. The manager said that he's not a decision maker, um, so there's no real help there. Um, they won't pre-authorise anything for us. What they've said is that if we uh, keep our receipts and submit it to head office, they can make a decision on an individual basis. Carrie Ann's flight was one of two cancelled at Newcastle Airport today. The full scale of the disruption here isn't clear yet, but all Ryanair customers flying before October are being advised to double check their bookings. Megan Patterson, BBC Look North. MPs in the region have been speaking about the growing levels of abuse they're facing from the public. Laura Pidcock, the Labour MP for North West Durham, told the Sunday Politics programme that the fact that she was a woman and working class seemed to make her a target. Emails just saying like pathetic little girl and you know it'll be kind of quite anonymous the sender um, and I think that of course, whenever you say you are standing for something and being a woman and being working class, that's going to attract attention. The Conservative MP for Middlesbrough South, Simon Clark, said he'd been targeted during the general election with unacceptable levels of abuse. We would have to say that during the election campaign, pretty much every one of my signs was vandalised. Mm. Uh, the hate spills over, obviously, into the online forum and you get you know, a lot of anonymous people. There are some people... Uh, you know, even at the moment, it clearly set up fake accounts to attack me. North Yorkshire police are praising the bravery of motorists after a serious crash on the A171 just south of Whitby yesterday. The police say people stopped to help save two lives by pulling a mother and a baby from a car moments before it burst into flames. They weren't injured, but two people are in hospital. In rugby union news, Newcastle Falcons have lost for the first time this season in their match against European champion Saracens, which was played last night in America. The game in Philadelphia ended Saracens 29, Newcastle 7. Newcastle scored one converted try, but their director of rugby, Dean Richards, was angry, claiming the referee favoured Saracens throughout the match. Well, it's been a bit of a gloomy end to the weekend. Gloomy most of the weekend, in fact, for most of us. Let's get the region's weather now to start the week with Owen Wynne-Evans. 
Hello, hello. Well, we will see some showers tonight across the northeast in Cumbria, especially as you head further east. As you can see, western parts, much of Cumbria remaining largely dry with some clear spells. Cloudier to the east, that northerly breeze bringing in these showers and temperatures around town more than likely down to 9 or 10 Celsius. So mist and fog for a time that'll clear tomorrow morning. A lovely, dry, bright start to the day for many of us. Yes, we'll see the cloud, it'll come and go, as will the showers, and they'll merge together into longer spells of rain at times, hanging on to that chilly northerly breeze, highs of 14 or 15 Celsius. Tuesday's looking mostly dry, a ridge of high pressure builds. We do see some rain then on Wednesday, but it'll be less cold. Well, that's good. And that's it. We'll be back with an update here at around 20 past 10. Until then, have a very good evening. Bye-bye.